Hey guys, it's uh 521. Uh it's me gamers 16 no scope. This is about a six minute, seven minute video. I'm watching Drake and Josh right now. Sorry, I'm on my eye touch. That's why you can see those lines and stuff. Because it just makes it. Um, it's a really funny show. I'm here showing you my Xbox collection collection. This is Christian, not TJ. If you guys were wondering that uh, kid, you know, TJ from Jack's Blogs. He has an Xbox. He's going to show his collection soon, but I have one update I'm going to show you. So, I sold my PS3, and I have a ton of Xbox games that I got from there. And we bought a new uh, Wii and, a f like, two games. Like, Sports Mix and New Super Mario Bros. And we came with Wii Sports. Um, uh, sorry if there's any noise in the background. Not from the thing, just from my brother. Uh... I'm getting, I have some money to get, like, Skyrim, and I was going to get, a maybe a pre-owned game, you know, I was thinking about getting, uh, what is it called, uh, MW2, I have Modern Warfare the first here, so, I have two controllers, I'm not going to get four, because when kids come over, usually they can bring two, like, my friends all have two, they can bring two over, I have Connect Sports, a uh, very nice game, Hey Benji, uh, where'd you I get that? Lucky. Um, Connect Sports. Uh, this is just uh, I um, for Connect Games Motion Gaming, I give this a ten because this is amazing. For just game, as in like how fun, I give it a nine. It's just the one is just eventually like when you start losing, it can get just a little boring, you, you know, because you're losing. Gears of War 3, I got this pre-owned, like, this came out in, like, October 2011, or September. Uh, I haven't played it. Actually, no, I have a bit, just a teeny bit. It is really, really fun. I love it. For a first-person shooter, I give it a 10. For how fun it is, I give it a 10. Halo Reach. It really shouldn't be rated M. Uh, T <coughs> my, TJ's played this game. You may get it. But his parents know it's rated M, even though it should be rated teen. He's allowed to buy any teen games. But he can't buy any rated M games till he's 13. I'm only 12 and like a quarter. I don't really count that kind of stuff, but just I'm only 12. And I buy mature games. I just can't get Grand Theft Auto. Or Red Dead Redemption. I can only get those when I'm like 14. Oh yeah, sorry. First person shooter, I give this an 8 because it's actually a, a bit hard. The story is okay. Here's the words. Every legend has a beginning, and then here's the beginning. They were going to be Halo Reach 2, but I don't know. I give this, for just how fun I level, I give it a 8 also. Because it can get a little boring. If you didn't hear the fun level for Gears of War 3, that's a 10. If I don't know if you if I mentioned it. Watchmen, the end is nigh or near. I, I don't understand. The end is nigh? I don't understand that. Um, wow, this is already getting along. Parts 1 and 2 uh, for action game. It's like a fighting adventure game. I give it just a 6 because it can get a really annoying and it's kind of strategy. Um, but for how fun it is, I give it an 8 because this can get really fun. Just the type of game, it's just not. Brink. Uh, first person <coughs> shooter, I give it like an 8. Sometimes it can get stupid a little because you're like not shooting. How fun it is. I give it a 5. This thing is not really that fun. It's just multiplayer is fun. If you have this, I mean, if you're about to buy it, get it pre-owned. Because it's just like, if you have, you know, a member card. Uh, it's only $12 or $11.69. Connect Adventures. For Connect Game, I this is like more than 10. Because you jump, you slide, you smack, you do all this stuff. Here it is. For how fun it is, it can really be a 7. Because... Eventually, it gets boring. It's only rated E, too. So. Connect Joyride. For Connect game, I give it um, a 10 because it's... Well, no, actually an 8 because all you do is just go like this. Uh, Benji, show them how you play Connect, Connect Joyride. Like you're moving a steering wheel, almost. Uh, for how the hard... The skill level, like how hard it is, I'm only going to do it for this one. It's like... A nine. This is really hard. And for how fun, I give it like a six. This is sick. Eventually, he should give us all the guns. Sonic the Hedgehog. This came out in like 2007. It's not too good. You can get the Sonic the Hedgehog too. 
All the hedgehogs. Uh, I've only beaten the first three levels. Uh, remember, some of these I just got. Um, it on a Sonic game like just normal Sonic running around. I give that an eight. Sometimes it's just not Sonic at all. Or how fun I give it a six. That thing's not too good. Call of Duty Four: Modern Warfare. Um, when did you get that? Um, this is okay. I give it a. Five and a five for each. Actually, no, six for I half. I want to know when you got that. I, I just got it. Um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. We got to start ten. playing this some more. I give it a ten so first-person shooter because that's actually like one of the first, not one of the first ever games, but just one of the first ever first-person shooter series, just Call of Duty. Uh, Sonic and the Genesis Collection. This, like, for a... Just collection games, I give it a 10 because it has like 20, but it, it like for how fun, it's just like a, like a 6.5 because this thing isn't that fun. Batman, the video game, Lego Batman. Lego games, this is one of the best adventure ones. I'm mean, giving it a 10. Just for how fun, eventually it can get really annoying because you don't know what to do, and I give that a 7 for how fun. These are all mine. That's like 12 and 11, or 11 games. I have no idea. I'm going to do an update. I'm going to do one every, like, three months. I don't know, but, you know. Still, these are really fun games. Like, I, a few of them are kiddish. Uh, a few of them suck. Brink and the Genesis Collection are just ones that I may sell. Probably not. Next time, I'll give you on the ones with the Wii. I, we don't have too much games because first we sold our old Wii and got rid of the games, but now we're collecting more. I'm getting an NES soon, and I'm getting games for that, and I'm getting a PS Vita in like two months, and I'll un do an unboxing video. Yeah, cause you what about me? I'm unboxing of an e NES. He's also getting a PS Vita, but ow! Uh, he's not going to do an unboxing. Thank you so much for watching. This video has been seven minutes and about eight seconds.